Keith, we just got back from the Emergency Operations Center, which is located in the basement of City Hall. It was really active. The phones were ringing the entire time we were there. First thing they did actually was not only get out to inspect high rises and as you mentioned the hospitals, but also the bridges. They were sending out inspectors to look at bridges in New Haven, specifically the bridges that come up and down for the boats that that pass underneath them. They went out, they tested the bridges. The three movable business bridges passed inspection. Other bridges still being looked at this afternoon. You mentioned the New Haven Green. I was out on the New Haven Green literally with four to 500 people. If you can imagine when this happened, all those office buildings around the Green in New Haven, the folks literally filtering out, and the Green is a meeting spot for many companies, many businesses. Their evacuation plan is to meet on the Green. So there were about 500 folks on the Green. They evacuated the courthouse, they evacuated New Haven City Hall, and also the Connecticut Financial Center, that big building right there on the Green. They evacuated that as well. While we were over at the Emergency Operations Center, the phone was ringing. They did talk about a bit of a sewage leak that was in a New Haven neighborhood, but at this point, they don't believe that it's connected. Uh, the acting fire chief, uh, rather the acting police chief, Valeka, said that he is keeping on the afternoon shift, the day shift of police officers. They usually get off at 3 o'clock. They're going to stay on a lot later. In other words, they want police officers very visible on the streets of New Haven this afternoon, just so people feel better, feel safe and secure. They also had police officers go to local banks just to make sure that the banks were secure, that their alarms were working, and that if office people working in banks had left, that the banks were still secure. So the police department, while it was evacuated, the patrol officers were literally fanning out all over the city. Again, as Keith, you mentioned, they did look at the hospitals. First place they went, they went to Yellow Haven Hospital in St. Rayfields. No patients were ever evacuated from the hospitals, but they went in, inspectors, they checked it, and they gave clearance for that. Also, a lot of folks in New Haven for the tennis tournament going on up there on the campus of Yale. They did suspend play when this happened. They wanted to make sure that structure was safe to handle the larger crowds. So that really impacted the afternoon. But at this hour, no damage has been reported anywhere in New Haven. Inspectors from the building department now going out to the high rises, the large apartment buildings, giving a check. But you heard the building official, Andy Rizzo, say right here on News 8 that they cannot physically get out to every building, every floor. So they're really relying on building managers this afternoon to inspect their buildings. Hey, if you live in a building, why not check out the floor you live on? If you think you see something, call the Emergency Operations Center. Do not call 911. Call the New Haven Emergency Operations Center at 203 946 8221. So the city of New Haven really activated this afternoon, getting their emergency operations center up and going. The inspectors are out there and the police officers are visible on the street. But Keith, at this point, it looks like the city of New Haven responded but has found no real damage at this point. Back to you. All right, Aaron Cox and uh, News 8 Control, that's very.